guys, these scary looking guys right here made Nixon's enemies list. We did, in fact. In fact, we held it as a badge of honor. I still do today. It's still is very day. Well, actually, we're still dangerous guys in Anchorage, Alaska, as it turns out, and Kalispell, Montana. Shows were picketed on tour. We can't believe, well, all the shows on that tour were for fundraisers for uh, uh, state troopers and police and fire departments. <laughs> You're freaking out. We can't believe you're bringing those guys in with that song, raising money for the cops. So, so every night on stage, we talk to the cops and say, you know, 40 years ago, we were scared of you guys, and now here we are raising money for you. Yes, you know, times are really, really weird. And Michael was talking about our t our uh, T-shirts. Guess who bought most of the one toe cup of the line and still smoking? It was the police. They couldn't get enough of them. So uh, it's too weird having our, having our pictures taken with state troopers and everything. Very strange. Times definitely have, are different now. But anyway, at exactly the same time the government was coming down on our case about our little song, uh, and I swear this is true, Lawrence Welk performed our song on the Lawrence Welk show. He did. I swear to God it's true. Dale and Gale sang. And Mr. Welk conducting it's on YouTube, the it's great. music makers <laughs> referred to it as a modern day spiritual. And just last night, in Conroe, Texas, a lady told me, she says, Mr. Brewer, uh, I was raised Pentecost, and I swear to you that when that song was a hit, we sang it in church. <laughs> that was and we shouted, we got down and shouted and did all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> yeah, it was gospel. Uh, <laughs> but same time, what's scary is at the same time that uh, Lawrence Welk was singing our funky little song, uh, the Grateful Dead starts doing the same song live on stage, right? So you're looking at the only two guys in the entire cosmos that have ever written a song that was performed both by Lawrence Welch <laughs> and Jerry Garcia. <laughs> two guys out of the Sometimes, sometimes I, I have to, I'll wake up in the middle of the night with this horrible nightmare that I have. Seriously. Uh, it's... Uh, an accordion electric guitar duet <laughs> playing, playing our funky little song. So, uh, we actually, well, you know, we, we wrote the song just literally entertaining ourselves. We were playing a little, little club in Kansas City, a little coffee house called the Vanguard Coffee House. And we were getting ready to do our fourth set of the evening. We stepped out back for uh, a little fresh, little breath, fresh air. Fresh air. Yeah. <laughs> and came back in, and Tom said something that just cracked me up. He says, Man, I'm one tug over the line. I just cracked it. We started putting it to music. And the next day, we just turned it into a song, literally just entertaining ourselves and to make our friends laugh. Didn't even take it seriously. And the first time we played Carnegie Hall, we opened for Melanie. Remember huh. Melanie? Yep. Yeah. 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 And she just gotten a brand new pair of rollers. <laughs> yes, she did. And she was looking for somebody to put a key in. <laughs> but anyway, we, we went over really well. We got a couple of encores and ran out of songs. And uh, so we thought, well, let's do that. Let's do that new song. What do we got to lose? The president of the record company was there, and he came backstage and said, oh, you got to record that, add that to the LP. We were working on an LP called Tarkio at the time. Yeah. So we, oh, you heard of that? <clears throat> so we did. We, we submitted it and uh, finished the LP and took a break and went fishing and uh, came back to find out that not only had they released it as a single, and it was shooting up the charts, but we were in big trouble. <laughs> it was crazy. So we wrote it actually, in, uh, we didn't really write it as a sing-along, we wrote it as a smoke-along. Uh, <laughs> so if you got them, light them.
Over the line, over the line, I'm sitting downtown in a railway station. I'm going over the line, over the line, I'm sitting downtown in a railway station. I'm going over the line, over the line, I'm sitting downtown in a railway station. I'm going over the line, over the line, I'm sitting downtown in